you're thinking about buying a newly constructed home with all the new bells and whistles? If you answered yes, here are 10 questions you need to ask your sales rep before you get too excited and sign a contract. And above everything else, be sure you have your own representation because the agent and the builder's job is to protect the seller and get them the best terms and price. Questions to ask the builder. How long has the builder been in business and building in the area? You want to ensure you're working with a reputable builder who knows your market, who's knowledgeable about the local area and market conditions. Question number two, can the builder provide three references of past clients? You want to know how the builder handles repairs and meets deadlines. Three, what are standard and upgrade finishes? Be sure to receive an itemized list of the upgrade finishes so you know what's standard and what's an upgrade. Remember, the model home for show to the public has all the bells and whistles to make you want to buy it. Don't be fooled, the fancy stuff comes with a hefty price tag. Are you ready to open up your pocketbook? Number four, what is the timeline for each building phase? For example, the days it will take to lay the foundation and complete the framing of the house. Number five, can you have a four point inspection of the property? Four point inspections are shorter evaluations that focus on four key areas in a home, electrical system, plumbing, roof, and the HVAC system. It can be costly, but you can hire licensed independent inspectors to double check the builder's quality of work during the key phases of the construction process. Most builders welcome it because it helps affirm the quality of their work and protect them. Six, what warranties are provided with the house? Clearly, the builder offers a one-year warranty with the purchase and new appliance warranties, but there are extended warranties for things like construction, windows, foundation, etc. Number seven, is landscaping included in the front or back? Great, what is the size of the lot? Make sure it is included in the purchase price or is there a lot premium? Nine, does the builder offer any incentives with purchasing the property? Sometimes builders will give you a closing cost credit and if you use a preferred lender, they will give you even more closing cost credit. Again, be careful as the mortgage broker is also wanting to keep the builder happy, so make sure there's no conflict of interest. Number 10, is the builder aware of any major developments planned at this time or in the next five years near the property? For example, any plans for a cemetery to be built in the back of the home? Hope these tips help you. Be sure to reach out to me if you're thinking about buying a new construction. Don't forget, the agent at the office is there to protect and negotiate on behalf of the seller and you want someone in your corner too. It doesn't cost you more money and you most likely may end up paying actually more without the proper representation. This is Omar Pineda with the XP Realty.